Using the useSort function, we can sort an array according to a criteria we set. Here in this code sample, I define the class student. We have three variables in each object instantiated from student, ID, average, and name. We have a constructor, so we can easily instantiate student and create new objects. And we have functions such as getID, getAverage, and getName, functions we can invoke on every object instantiated from this class. We also define the magic function underscore underscore to string. This is a function that each time there is a need to translate an object to string, it is invoked. And in this case, it returns a string that describes the object on which uh, that uh, toString method was invoked. Here we create an array, an array of four elements. Um, the values are references for uh, uh, object ins objects instantiated from a student. If we want to describe it uh, then we can imagine an array in the size of four, four elements, and the values uh, of those elements are uh, references for objects instantiated from student. Each one of them has three variables, so each object can represent, describe a specific student. Here we iterate the array and print out to the screen um, the, the details of those uh, four students. Each iteration, the for each loop, focus on a specific element and $k is assigned with uh, the key, $v is assigned with the value. The values are uh, references for objects that were instantiated from student. Here I invoke useSort, I pass over as the first argument a reference for, um, uh, for the, sorry, I pass over as the first argument the array, the array we have over here, and then as the second argument I pass over uh, a function, in this case it is an anonymous function, uh, the code within useSort will invoke this function again and again, um, each time it compares two elements. Each time two elements are compared, their values are passed over to this anonymous function. In our case, the values of those elements in $vec old, the values are references for uh, objects, objects that were instantiated from students, so we can uh, for example, um, invoke get ID on each one of the two objects. Their references were passed over to the function in order to uh, sort according to the ID. Or we can invoke something else. We can invoke get average. Typo, just a moment. in order to sort according to the average. Then I iterate one more time in order to print out the, the, the array and see the outcome of the sorting. Let's see how does it work. So now I have the array sorted according to the average, as you can see. Now Superman is the first, then Moshe, then Spider-Man, and then the Nidin. If you want to sort according to the ID, not a problem, just let's switch it now according to the ID. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5, 4, 4, 5, 2, 3, 4, 3, 4, 7, 4, 4, 5, 6, 5. And so on. We have the liberty to specify the criteria uh, we want useSort to use 
uh, when sorting the array. The array we pass over is the first argument. The criteria is reflected in the function we pass over as the second argument.